Live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE, covering ServiceNow Knowledge 2018. Brought to you by ServiceNow. Welcome back to theCUBE's live coverage of ServiceNow Knowledge 18 here in Las Vegas. I'm your host, Rebecca Knight, along with Dave Vellante. The beer and the wine are out, so it, it's getting time to party, but we have another guest here on the show, Stephen Lee. He is the Senior Director, Business Development and Partner Solutions at Okta. Thanks so much for joining us, Stephen. Thank you, great to be here. So why don't you just lay the scene for us, tell, tell our viewers what Okta is and what, and what you do. So we're an identity and access management company, cloud-based. Um, when you think about every organization, right, with all the different kinds of users, employees, partners, and contractors, there, there's a lot of need for them to have access to things that they need to, whether it's an application and, and from different devices from anywhere. And our mission really is to connect anyone to anything. And um, there's over 4,000 organizations using our product, the likes of Nordstrom, um, Twilio, JetBlue, and it's not just about employees. I think a lot of people think of security products, they think about, well, you know, employees having access to different systems. It's beyond that. When you look at the persona of, of users now, is, is employees, as is partners, as is contractors, is our customers, our customers' customers, which most likely would be consumers. So it's, it's a huge space and, and we're filling, definitely filling a big gap. In, in, the, in the security space. So I got to ask you, so I, I like the tagline, connect anyone to anything, but I, I want you to add a word, safely. <laughs> <laughs> connect anyone to anything safely. I, I, you, I would add a couple more words. I think it's <laughs> securely, I think it's more effectively, because it's not just a product for end users, it's also a product for IT folks. It's been a very difficult problem for people to solve, right? And we want to make, we want to have a solution that's easy for IT to deploy and not have to worry about maintenance, having it running in the cloud, I think it's a very same message as what ServiceNow has, which is, which is providing the best platform so that IT can provide a good solutions for, for the end users. I mean, we're not building a solution for people walking around here. It, we're helping the people here building a solutions for their audience. And these are the end users, these are the consumers. Um, so it is, it is about easy to use, it is about security, um, but it has to be, you know, user-friendly, it has to be very effective, has to be cost-effective, so it's, you could put a lot of adverbs uh, behind that line, I think. You, you got a nice booth here, uh, in the in big meter board, Okta plus ServiceNow, better together. What makes them better together? What do you, what, talk about the partnerships, why better together? Well, I think about ServiceNow as a, as a platform, right? Yes, it does a lot of complicated workflow, ITSM related stuff, and I think, I think at the end of the day, you, we're solving problems for end users. How are they coming in? How is somebody coming in to file a ticket? How is somebody coming in to request for a service? And I think Okta does the same thing. It's about providing access in a secure way for end users. So one of the original integrations that we've done for ServiceNow was, was all about making sure that end users can get to ServiceNow easily and securely. That continues to be a main theme of, of, of our partnership. Uh, but increasingly, when you, you look at ServiceNow, the platform expanding to um, other security disciplines, right? The SecOps uh, um, um, module that was released last year. We've done a lot of work with that. In fact, early this year, we released what is called a, 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 an Okta Cloud Connect for, for SecOps. And what that does is really, when you think about Okta as an identity product, the information that we learn from users and how they access various things, it's actually very useful information and can be used as triggers, um, can be used as data points. Um, and when you look at a security analyst looking, looking at from, from the lenses of, 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 of SecOps, they get to see that data, right? You see an incident. What do I know about Steven? It's just a ticket. Someone logged in or someone is having trouble. The integration that we've done allows you to see additional, in, get additional insight about the user from within the ServiceNow module. So you understand who the user is, who he or she reports to, what have they been doing recently, and it gives you much better context when it comes to solving a problem or trying to resolve an incident. So, you know, that, that's just yet another integration that, that works very well together. Definitely looking forward to all the new things that, that ServiceNow is doing. Um, and I think, I think at the end, it's because there's such an important focus around end user that makes the two products work really well together. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a big space, but a crowded space. I mean, you guys are doing very well. 
why? How were you able to differentiate from the pack? I mean, you're, you're kicking butt, and what, what's, what, what do you attribute your success to? I think it's customer first. I mean, that is the number one thing. When we look at it, it's not about throwing protocols at people, what features we have and all that. I think when we, when we work with our customers, we figure out what, what their problems are. What is the use case? How can we help you solve your problem? And I think in a big way, it's a very similar message with ServiceNow. It's not about the platform, it's about what you need. What are you trying to do for your end users? And I really think that that's a big part of the success. On top of the fact that the product is built on a very sound platform. Um, we're the first cloud-based identity and access management product. Um, we started the category and we, we've, we, we've, we're still at the top of the category. Um, so great product, but I think the focus around customer success is really what has kept us going. Yeah. You, you said before the cameras were rolling that the tagline for ServiceNow, making work work better for people, really resonates with you. It does, because I, I think, you know, you, you mentioned our tagline earlier, right? The, the connect anyone to anything, and I think at the end, we want to make the workplace a better place. Like I said, we're, we're not about the folks here, we're about helping the folks at this conference build a better work environment um, so people can, can have an easier time and be more efficient, be more productive. Um, but, but more importantly, you know, be able to work in an environment that, that is also more secure, obviously from an identity standpoint. Um, but it extends beyond work. I think you're, you're also looking at us reaching out to consumers, to our customers' customers, but achieving the same purpose, making their life easier. And that's why I love, I, I love that, you know, listening to the keynote today, and I feel like that, that's, it, it's, it's a really good message, and I, I, I totally agree with that message. Well, Stephen, thanks so much for coming on theCUBE. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. We will have more from ServiceNow Knowledge 18 and theCUBE's live coverage in just a little bit.